Hey everyone, it's been over two minutes and I haven't been raped yet, but I'm pretty sure I've been lied to and I probably liked it. Hi, I'm Diana Davison and I want to talk to you about a fascinating subject. I find it fascinating and I'm pretty sure you will too. It's called lie spotting. I came across this while researching another project and uh, I'll put some links below to the main sources of information for those of you who want to become expert lie spotters. And I want to talk about some important points made by a woman named Pamela Mayer, who has a TED talk on the subject. Lie spotters are armed with scientific knowledge of how to spot deception. They use it to get to the truth, and they do what mature leaders do every day. They have difficult conversations with difficult people. All right, so I'm going to put a few links below. One is to the Pamela Meyer, who wrote that book, um, her TED talk on the subject of lie spotting. And the other is to a man named Paul Ekman, who did the groundwork of lie spotting technique and the branch of study that's evolving from it. So fascinating man. And, uh, but what I want to talk about today isn't just the fact that we all know lots of people in our world lie to us, I want to talk about um, why they get away with it. And I think this is actually more important than being a good lie spotter and catching the liars. I think it's more important to understand why you get fooled by them because that's where your power source lies. You're never going to change the world to eliminate liars from it. But what you can do is you can make yourself less vulnerable. Look, if at some point you got lied to, it's because you agreed to get lied to. Truth number one about lying. Lying's a cooperative act. Now, there's some pretty important ways in which we engage with liars in our world all the time. One would be romance. You know, people want to be liked. They want to be seen as attractive. They want to have somebody in, fascinated by them who wants to get to know everything about them. And you want to have a witness for your life. But in romance, you can get lied to extremely easily because you want to believe in love and you want to believe in rainbows and unicorns and happy things. Uh, another area that we get lied to quite often is politics. Now, actually, I came across a interesting video that was trying to sell the concept of socialism because socialism in a lot of circles and in, in uh, YouTube and and in media, socialism is tossed about as a, as a very bad word. So socialists have decided to do something about that and convince you that you are in fact a socialist. But here's the thing that no one will tell you. America is already socialist. Here's why. And I'm going to show you a, a couple of moments from their top five reasons to explain to you why socialism is already you that play into this concept of you get lied to when you want to believe it. Americans work like socialists. You know those two days a week where your boss can't berate you? What are they called? The weekend. The weekend was never part of big business's plan. Right, right off the top. Do you see what they're doing here? Now, whether you're a socialist or not, I don't really care. But what this advertisement does is say, socialism is weekends. Everybody likes weekends, right? It's something that you like. It's something you want. You want to keep your weekends. Therefore, you're a socialist. Number two. Some of the most remarkable Americans, maybe even some of your heroes, were socialists. Mark Twain, Ernest Hemingway, Jack London, Cesar Chavez, Helen Keller, even Harry Houdini was a socialist. Famous people are socialists. So don't you want to be like them? People have this strange thing they do where they idolize other people and then they want to try and model themselves after it. So the next thing they do is say, you don't have to just be plain boring you. You can be like this famous person. And these are the things that I think studying lie spotting is going to be really useful for in terms of bettering society. And that's really what it's about. It's not about, you know, being the smarty pants who can say, ha ha, I caught a liar. Mind you, that can be fun too. We're all liars. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you what the research says about why we're all liars, how you can become a lie spotter, and why you might want to go the extra mile and go from lie spotting to truth seeking and ultimately to trust building. So this is kind of an introductory um, video. There's so much to talk about in terms of lie spotting and how that relates to a lot of the issues I discuss on this channel. So I'm going to just leave it there 
and give you guys some links and I hope you're as excited about this as I am. Alright, so I'm going to leave you with three things. One is the rape joke of the week. And, uh, you know, I know some people don't like these jokes. I just say, fuck them. The second is, uh, I I'm going to give you a bit of an assignment. Sorry to make you work. But I want you to think about what it is that you want to hear about yourself. And I want you to, to think about where you're vulnerable. Because you're not going to get rid of the liars of the world. But you can actually figure out how to protect yourself against it a bit better. So think about it. How are you going to get lied to the easiest? What is it you want to hear? And the third is a little bit of a clip. Very short clip. A very long series. It was a documentary, actually six parts, called The Jinx. And I want to see if you can spot the liar. So I told... I just hear every word you said. What? When you were talking to yourself. Your mic is hot, so we can't really talk. Oh, 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 I was reviewing it. everything up. No, I hear what you're saying. You could hear everything I said. I never intently... I wonder how to... I mean, you know, it's a question of not what do I say, but how do I say it. I never intentionally, purposefully lied. I made mistakes. Did not tell the whole truth. Nobody tells the whole truth.